Meanwhile, they're demanding an extension of the $600 weekly federal unemployment benefit. Today, in a virtual town hall meeting, jobless Floridians say those benefits are so crucial. They tell ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee what could happen if that money just stops hitting their bank accounts. Hundreds of thousands of Floridians are worried about their future. The anxiety that I have over that is beyond belief. Eileen Sanders, who is a professional performer for a major cruise line, says her industry is shut down with no word on when it will come back. And with no recent business experience, she can't find a job. Nobody's clamoring to hire a 53-year-old singer. Her story mirrors so many others across the state. Natalie Kuhn working in the fitness industry saying the extra $600 went not only to her rent, but to helping her mom, who is recovering from cancer. I'm going to be in a desperate situation. Both women are considered gig workers and will be left with 125 a week without that extra federal money. And folks getting state benefits will be left with 275 or less a week. Government should have your back. But the $600 extension remains a sticking point for Senate Republicans as they discuss the HEROES Act already passed by Congress. Their plan will likely replace the $600 check with a smaller amount so people aren't receiving more money than they would if they were back to work. The rhetoric that it's been perpetuating by, by those in charge of our state is that you're lazy. No, you don't want to work and the six hundred dollars is is incentivizing you not to work and none of that's true which is why they're encouraging folks who need that money to call and email state senators marco rubio and rick scott letting them know call that line every day every minute don't hesitate it's your life it's your family's life heather lee abc action news